<sighs> All right. Hey everybody, uh, I decided I'd start just a couple minutes early because so many times you guys beat me here. So this way I thought uh, I would get a jump on. Uh, so then that way you guys don't have to like come in and then accidentally have to go back out when I start something new. So um, as you can see, I've got a little bit set up already for Sun versus Ruan. That seemed to be uh, the uh, the one on all the social medias that <clears throat> most could agree with, but uh, the other two are really close too. So um, if you're here, feel free to um, ask any questions or just um, say hi um, in the uh, Q and A part. And uh, the bells in the background are going off saying that it's 11, so I'll probably get going a little bit. Um, just so you can see, this is Sun. She's got uh, Ruan wrapped up um, in a tight matchbook pin. But so those are the, these are the, the blue line, but I made Ruan just a little too big initially, so I brought her butt down a little bit so and those that don't know who Ruan is let's see if this shows up that is her getting balls plexed by Wendy hey Travis beat you here by just a couple seconds nice woohoo great minds think alike glad to see you hope you're doing well um uh this week's been good for uh generating some conversation on the the site so very pleased with that so uh once again if you're just getting in this is ruan and she's going to be getting matchbook pinned by sun there we go and if you just showed up recently feel free to say hi uh and anyone that wants to <clears throat> jump in with any kind of questions um you know feel free um to uh to do that thomas how you doing jeebus that's a lot of tabs um oh is it showing how many um yeah i guess so <laughs> it shows all the uh stuff i got going i can't see for sure because it's the uh there's a green bar I have that says what is and isn't. But yeah, that's a lot of times I like to jump around uh, with stuff. So um, that's how it work. So um, I went a little ahead here and did some sun pencils, as you can see. Turn off all the blue line. So um, the main part was just trying to make sure that I had Ruan's outfit okay. And uh, so there's not a lot of it, but that's okay. I'm trying to think, can you guys see my cursor? I don't think you can. Come on. Nope. All right. Anyhow, so it looked like mainly Ruan's outfit would be here. Otherwise, it's a whole lot of skin. Nothing wrong with that. 
Um, once again, if you're just joining us, welcome. Feel free to say hi, talk, uh, ask any questions. How'd you guys like um, all the wrestling last weekend? Um, the um, SummerSlam. And, oh, I'm trying to think. Ring of Honor that was Death Before Dishonor, I think. There's a lot of stuff going on. Hey, Jim, how you doing? Yeah, Wendy. Well, yeah. One of my absolute favorites from the Fallen Federation. So, um, I'm going to start inking Sun first. Because she's on top. I have a Sun Inks layer just, uh, just for her. I usually like to work at 100%. And, uh, yeah. Travis Baller's hurt. So angry at Ron. Dude, I'm right there with you. I mean, I want to be like, oh, you know, Seth's not necessarily a, a terrible worker or, you know, a, uh, a dangerous guy. But, you know, there's Cena, there's Sting, and, you know, now Balor. And, you know, Sting is going to be, you know, he didn't blame Rollins, but I don't understand what he was supposed to do otherwise. I mean, he's not going to throw, throw, um, Seth under the bus, especially if management's got big plans for him. But I don't know. I I'm starting to like Seth less and less. So this week was dare I say glorious. Well done, well done, Thomas. Um, Tracy is loving Bobby Roode's gimmick, everything he's got going for him. So. You are in good company. I like Bobby Roode, too. It's been a long time coming for him. just wish James Storm would come. I mean, I know he showed up for, like, a cup of coffee in NXT, but um, I'd really like to see him come back. Oh, let's see. So... Um, I don't mind telling you guys. Uh, I'm. I just finished up chapter three for Arrival Angels. Uh, you Patreon guys will be seeing that this week, and um, everyone else will be seeing it in a couple weeks. So not too long. And I'm thinking Rival Angels is probably about three chapters away from ending, but um, that still puts it at like next year, like maybe even this time next year. So definitely, you know, not, uh, not anytime soon, which is good, but they're not going to rush it, obviously. Just thought I'd throw that out there. I have to admit, this was originally going to be Sun versus Mauve Kane from um, from Fawn, but I thought I just had her in the Spider Twist by Sabrina, so I thought I'd change it up just a little bit. See. Oh, we got a few questions here. Yo, uh, let's see. Jim, uh, boo ending. Uh, I'm trying to think how did that end? That was oh, right, right, right. It's, um, Randy Orton and uh, Brock Lesnar. Hey, okay. we're gonna do. Nice to see the women get time on SummerSlam. Yes, definitely. Um, I don't know what they're doing with. During the week, though, it's like they're not going to give us more than one match. Um, you know, that nonsense with Eva Marie. And then um, now this thing with Carmella, it's like we are not going to do more than a couple of matches ever. So I guess that's cool. No, take that back. That's not cool. Get your head out of your ass, WWE. Uh, what do we got 
here. <clears throat> and Travis, between Rollins having way too many accidents, quotes, and Reigns, multiple problems, I heard they were trying to bring back the Shield, but I don't know if it's viable anymore. Yeah, I mean, it's sort of like who really wants to see the Shield come back? I mean, on the one hand, it'd be, be kind of nice, but, you know, um, and maybe Rollins and Reigns would benefit from it. But certainly not Ambrose. He's doing just fine. And to be honest, I always knew he would be the one with the best mic skills. Um, and that's really what you need. Um, Seth does well when he's not hurting people um, athletically. He's got some stuff. I mean... He does some stuff in the ring that's pretty cool. Plus, he does do Sabrina's Ultra Splash from time to time. And that's pretty cool. But as far as the shield getting back together, meh. Meh. Oh, let's see. Uh, MGT. Hi, Alan. Will we see those cats in this show? Hey, MGC. Um, you know what? I don't know where they are. Um, Emmy is snoozing right now, and I don't know where Oscar and Whiskey are, but if they come up, you can bet that they'll be, they'll be making an appearance. In fact, if Emmy wakes up, I will put her on camera too, just because she's very photogenic. Nice to see you here. Oh, work wasn't too rough. Uh, Thomas, when do you, what did you think of Van Zandt's switch kick KO last night? Also, how do you think CM Punk will do in his first real fight? So, excellent question, Thomas. Van Zandt's switch kick KO. And by the way, for those that don't know, um, yesterday was, uh, there was a UFC on Fox card. It was pretty cool. Uh, paid 12 gauge Paige Van Zandt was on the card, and um, she is, I'm trying to think, I think she's a straw, straw weight, and she's excellent. Um, I believe she trains with America top team, and I think she's one of the only ladies there, so she's mentioned before that, you know, she trains with a lot of dudes. Um, anyway, switch kick. Nobody ever wins with a switch kick which is what you might think. It's you jump up with one leg and a kick, and then you follow up with your other leg and a kick. And Paige knocked Beck Rollins out. Um, she knocked her on her ass, followed up with some big punches, and booyah, we got the win. She looked great doing it. Um, a little sad for Beck Rollins because she's not been doing well since she got in the UFC. She might need to kind of go back to Invicta, but... Um, otherwise, beautiful uh, victory by uh, Paige Van Zandt. And I hope there's some good things going on for her in the future. I don't know if she's going to be able to challenge uh, Joanna in j just yet because she's a freaking animal, man. Her striking is just second to none. So it would be, be great. She might want to think about going against um, Tisha Torres next, or um, maybe uh, getting a revenge match against Rose Namajunas. But she'll be good. It'll be good to see her in WWE sometime soon too. As far as CM Punk, man, I want him to do so well, so badly, um, just to kind of show, you know, um, you know. Obviously, he's not. In every man, he's got a lot of athleticism and stuff. But you know, um, it's funny. Michael Bisping, who's the middleweight champion of the UFC, was like, "Yeah, anybody can do this." And I'm living proof that you just work hard and stuff. And then he heard that CM Punk was coming, and he was like, "That guy's a joke. He's a nobody. He can't handle it." And I was like, "Well, dude, you just said anybody can do it." CM Punk's a little further ahead of the curve than anyone else. So I would hope that might translate a little better. Um, Mickey Gall has beaten a couple of regular dudes. 
Um, but you know, um, he might be super good. It's it's kind of hard to tell because he's uh, we haven't really seen him do it a ton. He's had one or two pro fights, I think. So, which is two more than CM Punk. But um, I'm completely rooting for Punk. I want him to do really well, and I hope he has a long, a good long career in MMA and maybe even come back to wrestling, you know, that would be cool too. So, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see, Travis. Um, what do we got here? I'm more of an Ambrose fan than a Shield fan too, but the WWE wants that Shield money and Shield merch is still one of the best selling. You know, I'm not surprised. Um, is one of those things where I think anybody can, um, you know, get behind it. You don't necessarily have to be a Rollins fan, an Ambrose fan. You can just be a fan and pick it up, and it be, uh, and it be cool. You know, you don't have to. Um, I don't mind saying I picked up a Bullet Club shirt from uh, the last Ring of Honor I was at. And, you know, it's not like. I like any one of them per se, though. I mean, you got a lot to choose from, let's be honest. I mean, just in Ring of Honor itself, you got Adam Cole or the Young Bucks or whoever to uh, choose if you were like, hey, I'm a big fan of the Bolt Club. You know, not to mention um, Finn Balor or AJ Styles, Carl Anderson. Luke Gallows, you know, and then, of course, anybody else that's uh, that's in it. So that's what I think about the Shield and their popularity. All right. Oops. I have to say I'm a fan of the multiple undo in Photoshop. The Photoshop's not my number one inking tool, and that's kind of what I'm using this for is inking. I usually use Manga Studio or Clip Studio, whatever, some ugly name, but um, a wonderful program. But for some reason, my video card doesn't want to pick it up. So, alas, Photoshop making, but that's okay. We'll make it work. I uh, was watching YouTube yesterday, and I came across this crazy match: Shinsuke Nakamura versus Brock Lesnar. And honestly, it looked like it was about ten years old. And I think it was for the IGWP belt. Um, pretty good match, though. I gotta say. But should see those good matches. So, Jim, did you hear WWE signed Crazy Mary? I did. I was so happy to hear about that. Um, I remember seeing her um, a couple of times, like she was Kane's boss when he was forced to work like a concession stand or something like that. She was uh, in, uh, uh, was his boss, and then she's been on NXT, I think, once or twice, but she was like Mary Dobson or something, something like that. It was, I mean, it was her, obviously, but it was um, um, different name a little bit, so. Uh, what do you think? You think she'll start winning, <laughs> or do you think she's just gonna keep uh, um, jobbing out? Hey, Randy, what's up? Stop sass talking, Photoshop, Kami. <laughs> what can I say? See, not necessarily sass and Photoshop because I love using it for blue line, and I love using it for. My pencils, it's just um, I got a shaky hand sometimes, and Photoshop does not do me any favor, like right there. Blah. But um, Manga Studio, well, 
straighten that out for me. So I guess if Photoshop made me a better artist like Clip Manga Studio, then I would like it more. <laughs> but welcome, my friend, welcome. As you can see, I'm a little ahead on the Sunverse Ruan, and I'm using this image of Ruan to reference for this picture. Boy, so I know, Andrew, see you asked, Oscar is here. I'm going to let you see him. Boy. Here. Hold up, everybody. Uh, let's see. I hope I don't screw this up here. Uh, all right, so boy, say hello to everybody. There, you're on TV, video. Here you go, go in your bed. All right, back to the screen share. And Booyah. Okay. So, MGC, I hope you saw Oscar the cat. He's not a grouch. He's just noisy sometimes. All right. So, uh, let's see. Thomas, how do you think Bailey's going to do on the main roster? More specifically, how do you think WWE Creative will handle her? Breakout star a la Kevin Owens or Balor or Fizzle, like Tyler Breeze in the Ascension. That's a good question, and I think I think a lot of it has to do with the particular wrestlers, the, the talent. Wesley like Kale was always going to get over on his own. I mean, it been it been WWE would have to really work hard to screw that up. I think, but like with Tyler Breeze, like his gimmick, he is never going to win a belt. I mean, not a big belt, anyways. With kind of that kind of gimmick. It's just not going to happen. So, um, and the Ascension are kind of shooting for a Road Warriors thing, but I see the same thing happening. The Ascension as like, um, what's his name? Baron Corbin. Nobody really cares about the big monster guy. So they kind of got to going against him. With Bailey, my concern is that um, the casual WWE fans are going to be like, hey, wait a minute, why are we doing these crazy elaborate chants for this girl and you know, not really knowing what makes Bailey cool? So I think there's a little um, risk there. And the other thing is I hope um, she doesn't, get turned into Cena in the way that, you know, like some fans just obnoxiously boo against him. Um, and it's fine that they boo against him because they sometimes just take it to a crazy level. And I hope they don't do that to Bailey. So um, funny thing though about Cena real quick is that all the little kids that love him, they're going to grow up remembering that they love him. And in like 10 years, Cena's going to have like a renaissance. People are going to be like, we love John Cena. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see if that's how that actually, that's how that actually goes or not. So, uh, Randy, that's, that cat's a cutie. More cat. You know what? I, I, there's, people are asking for, for it. He's so loud too. When we picked him up from the shelter, his name was Harley because he purrs so loud. You can't hear him now, but he's super loud. He has a pink nose. And his, even though his name is Oscar, his nickname is Boy. Isn't that right? Boy. Okay, cat. And then Emmy's in here too, but she's sleeping. She's just crashed out. Let's see. Robert, hey, how you doing, man? Thanks for coming. Uh, they repackaged the Ascension and deb debuted them against Miz and Miz Dow, who already had a match that night, right? Um, hmm. Oh, shoot, I'm trying to think. Uh, the Ascension. Yeah, I mean, they almost made it kind of 
like a comedy act after a little bit there, I think, like they did with Glacier once upon a time. Like, hey, here's this, this guy that is like, we're trying to make him like a legit badass, but it's so over the top that everyone's like, eh, ass. <laughs> um, so I don't know, but I, I know the Ascension have said like, they're thrilled just to be on the main car. And if, you know, as they put it, they're putting guys over, they're okay with that. Uh, and I would guess the money's a lot better too than an NXT. So that's uh, that's not nothing. All right, so I got Sun a good uh, good amount here. Yeah. So now we'll work on Ruaner. Cute booty. Um, I think I might start with a few over here though. And let me see, let me just take a quick look at Ryan barefoot, no elbow pads, no knee pad or this, at least as I drew it. I, I don't know if that's changed and I hope it, I mean, if it has, I mean, well, anyway. Bare feet, that's what we're going for here. All right, I kind of gave her kind of big feet, but I think I think she's a country gal, so they have big feet like we got. Not the only big thing she's got. Whoa, terrible joke, but true. Yeah, and I'm glad to see some get some more love uh, outside of the comic because you know a lot of it is. Sabrina and Brooke, occasionally Kristen. So she needs a little bit of love. And Sun's a bit of a favorite with a lot of my gal pals, a lot of the lady readers get behind her. I'm trying to think, what's the next pay-per-view? I just had summer. Oh, that's right. The, with the brand split, there's a couple of them, right? I mean, uh, Raw's got one. SmackDown's got one. Um, I suppose we can only hope that um, SmackDown gets a proper women's title. I love Becky Lynch so much. Pains me to see her losing all the time. And I th think it's because she's such a baby face that they're like, well, she can lose and not lose any of her her heat, any of her stroke. But I think that means she'll be big time in the contention for the title, but I don't think she's going to get it. Certainly not right away. I would guess, I don't know. Well, I was going to say Nikki, but she looks like she's going to be working as a face with uh, Carmelo. That's cool. Let's see. Jim, Becky needs to win that title. Dude, I'm right there with you, man. There's, there's nothing wrong with Becky winning. Plus, she would, I mean, you remember her in Shimmer. She was... Fantastic as Rebecca Knox. I mean, just fantastic. It was always great to see her. All right. We got to see. This, I believe, is Ruan's head. Let me think. Let me go back to the light real quick. Let's see. Uh, Thomas, do you 
Do you do your line work all on one layer? I do it on separate layers. Um, let's see. I'm going to break this down here. So when I started out, this was Ruan, and here's Sun, and this is just a blue line. Actually, I need to look again real quick. Where did I have her face? Sorry. All right, so then I went on to pencils, and I decided to make Ruan a little bit smaller because here she's kind of a giant next to Sun. And Sun is small, but Ruan's no giant, so let's take away the pencils. And ta-da! So here's our pencils, and now uh, I did Sun on her own um, layer, and I got Ruan on her own layer. And I'm looking at this, and I'm trying to see, like obviously here's Ruan's chest. I'm trying to think where her face was coming in regards. And I remember I was going to do a little slapsticky thing where it's like, oh, Ruan, she's so busty, she might be smothering herself. Um, that might be, I'm just trying to think how that worked. Let's see. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Thomas, SmackDown has a women's title. It looks just like the Raw and only the, I know. Hell, all the boots are just palette swaps of each other. Bring back the big gold belt. No kidding. Um, I think they're trying to make it so like, oh, one is not cooler than another because you know that's what's going to happen is someone is going to be like, uh, or, you know, the fans will be like, well, this is the real title that we want. And, you know, it's so much cooler than whatever. I think it's lame and stupid. I think I'm going to do a new layer here just to work this out real quick. So that would be her booty and her head. And, oh, here we go. So... I'm pretty sure this is what I was thinking. Mm, no, I think more like more like that. So take that down a little bit. See how that works. <clears throat> I see. Uh, Robert, did you get back to Otakon this last year? This is Chris. Drastic action, by the way. Oh, hey. Hey. I love Becky, too. She's my favorite. Dude, she's so awesome. I love Becky ever since Rebecca Knox. Um, I did not get back to Otakon this year. Uh, I hear it is their last year in Baltimore, and next year they will be in D.C. But I didn't um, uh, get out there. I, I didn't try too hard. But they seem to have a thing where, um, at least with me, like they're they allow me to come um, every other year. And that's fine because um, as great of a show as it is for me, it's also it's a little pricey, you know, just um, with the flying and the lodging and getting all my stuff out there and. Uh, taking off of work and stuff. So there's a lot that goes into it, and uh, and that's cool. But um, definitely trying next year. If not Otakon in D.C. next year, then I'm hoping to get into um, AwesomeCon next year in uh, D.C., and I believe my webcomics BFF, Laura Innes, will be down for that too. So if you're a fan of the Dreamer, We'll be both out there. Or one or that matter. Um, let's see, Thomas. I legit think the belts all look the same. The save costs on making their replicas and selling them. That's my honest theory. You know, it's a good theory. You know, certainly just uh you know, they're always trying to pump more money out. And uh I don't know. It's uh it is a racket. I mean, what can you do? It's, uh, 
I can't say I'm excited to run out and um, get one, though. No. Like one of the other ones, maybe, but one of these, no thanks. So they can keep their goofy rainbow colored belts all for them. Ah. And there we go. Ah. Tear it for undoes of the undo. Love it. Saves me so much time. Uh, Jim, I have rooms if you want to cut out hotel expenses. Thank you very much. I might take you up on that. I'm not one to shy away from that. To be like, or even just, you know, couch diving is a wonderful thing. Uh, Randy, if you ever want to do Dallas and need a bed, tell me. I will totally tell you, especially because I want to see your awesome cats because they rule. And I do want to do a Dallas show. Um, just because uh, I hear good things about uh, just that general area, like Austin, Dallas, just good stuff. All right, let's see if I can get this to work right. Ruan and her super complicated wrestling attire. Now. All right, so that's her outfit. This would be her hair, and this would be her jawbone. So, not much in the way of the jawbone, but everyone remember that. That's your jawbone. Oops, I forgot to finish her other foot over here. I'm going to try to do the lines that are closer to us. The viewer are a little thicker, and then the lines further away are a little thinner. It's like if you can see, this is a little thicker than this. And Helps out. I mean, establishing this kind of thing. I don't know if I like her elbows so much. Let's see if we can fix. There we go. Ah! Wrong button. There we go. Uh, we're going to get in and do some hair. Actually. Uh, now that I look at it, maybe her hair shouldn't be this far up. I think I might have did that just because it was easier to kind of get that in there. So it would be more like here, I think. Let's see. Jim, what do you think about Shimmer basically doing six shows in four days this fall? Let me think. That's right. Because uh, of the Friday. Oh, well, wait. How are they doing that? Because uh, they usually do two shows on Saturday, two shows on Sunday, and now one on Friday. So are they doing a second one on Friday? Um, honestly, it's... Um, it's a lot of wrestling already, uh, and I love it, but, you know, there's a certain amount of burnout that kind of comes with hanging out all weekend just like that, so, um, I don't know, um, I get why they do it, because they're trying to, you know, they're getting the most bang for their buck that way, 
but um, and totally down for that for everyone, you know, getting paid and whatnot. But um, six shows is a lot. Oh wait, you said four days. Friday, Saturday, yeah. Because that's uh, a lot of good wrestling action, but too much of anything is too much. So I guess we'll see. Um, let's see. Geek, Geek and Namakin is going to be December 30th to the 1st, but our state was sold out. Hmm. I'd take it as a fun show then. A. Eh? Um, let me tell you, I could use some fun hanging out at the start of the new year, comic show wise, but nothing else. I have to keep it, um, keep it in mind just because with this being Rival Angels last year. Uh, certainly it's last season that uh, I want to try and get get out there a little bit more um, to the comic shows and stuff like that. Kind of one last time kind of thing. At least for that, I mean, I still plan on doing, um, you know, shows and stuff with the next project I might do. Or that I will be doing. So, all right. Working. Ooh, here we go. So, it's a little bit shoulder. Okay, that's right. And let's turn off the pencil layers. Not bad. And then let's look at Ruan. Do I got everything? I think so. Let's see if I can fix this up a little bit too. Some wasn't as complete as I would have liked. Manga Studio would have totally fixed that. No, nah, just kidding. Uh, let's see, Jim. Um, Thursday night is a sparkle show. They are doing a training session during the day for the girls, and then they are putting on a show Thursday. No shit. Huh. Ooh. You know what, though? That actually seems okay because people won't feel like, oh, I have to go to this. They won't be like, um, you know, I'm going to be missing something super huge. I would go to that though. Sparkle's always good. Uh, and let's see, Jim, do you plan on leaving the Rival Angel site up as an archive once you're done? I I do think so. Um, there is um, some thought of you know um, the site will definitely stay up, and I will most likely still keep doing um, Rival Angels commissions and stuff like that because I know there's a bunch of people that are still they still like the the characters um, I have one commissioner that's really big on Sabrina getting thin and I don't think that's going to change anytime soon so, um, so there's definitely that still and uh, I guess I would just try to figure out a way to um, Make, you know, I don't know if I'm going to make like an AlanEvans.com, you know, and that has Rival Angels with it or not. Um, I guess we'll have to see how that goes. All right. That's what happens when I click off. Okay. What I'm going to do now is get a background that I have um, in Photoshop you can do these, this wonderful thing with um, paths 
and um, with paths, it's kind of like a mathematical equation, and you can kind of do up these. Uh, let's see, um, you can do a, what I do in paths is these uh, is backgrounds because I can resize them and not lose any quality, and uh, By doing that, um, ooh, this one will work. So I can resize to my heart's content and not have to worry about it. So I think that's showing up right. Thomas, Sabrina has a terrible win loss record. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she does. Freaking awful, man. Um, that's why I started uh, doing more of uh, like her, like with. Candy and Tim, um, you know, I I made sure to ask if it was okay to kind of do that with Kim and Candy because, um, you know, there's a lot of people that are like, uh, I don't like my character losing. And even when I have them winning, they still are like, hey, you didn't do that right. So actually, I should show you the, the real way I usually do that. So... All right, here is the background, but I don't know if you guys can see the paths, but here we go. So um, these are the paths, as you can see. And this. Jim, I've never got a bad commission. Yay, satisfied customer. You always do such great commissions too, or at least you give me such good um, stuff to work with. All right, so um, as you can see, so these are my paths. And so I can kind of size these however I want, um, yeah, like so, and um, if I put them, I open up a new layer, and if I pick a paintbrush, um, I can have this fill in, and, well, actually, I should do that better. What I can do here is I can size this to my heart's content. I can be like, hey, I want it here. Or I can flip it, and do it this way. Um, if I want, I can select these and kind of chat and change how that goes, you know, so on and so forth. Let's see, uh, Randy, you should charge extra for some reason <laughs> uh, you know what i swear to god i was thinking about offering a commission special where it would be cheaper if sabrina if sabrina wins it would be a cheaper commission so um definitely on the, on the same trail there um robert the iwc criticized your booking decisions uh you know what i have like i have a troll who, it's so weird. He, he, um, he like applies like legit wrestling, like WWE, like wrestling logic to rival angels. And it just doesn't scale because, um, it doesn't scale because, um, Rival Angels is presented as real, like MMA, but it's also a comic book, so of course it's not, you know, it's not quote-unquote real, so um, I don't know, it's just, um, I, I don't even know where he's going with it when he criticizes the booking decision, and then occasion there's people who are like, um, Hey, why don't you do more of um, 
Uh, I'm trying to think. Why don't you do more of this person uh, winning? Like, um, you know, uh, well, like this would be like, we need more Brenda, um, which is cool. But um, a lot of times I can't um, put her in uh, just on her own because um, I kind of need it to serve the story, not um, as opposed to. Um, you know, just putting her in for the sake of putting her in, because uh, that would make the comic really long. And when I check out my analytics, my stats, it shows most people are really only here to see the upstarts. Um, mostly the upstarts. And it's probably, uh, and it's Sabrina and Brooke at the top of that. So, um, if I can, if it's like, you know what, I really want to, um, draw more Brenda than I need to have her fighting one of the upstarts or have something to do with that. So as you can see, I drew a selection around Ruan's butt and that is so I can hide the ring rope behind her. What? All right. NGC, by the way, no news. Uh, DMC stuff. No news. DMC. I don't know what that is. Please let me know what you mean. By the way, we see Sabrina and Moore get pinned. How about next time we see Sun? Maybe. Uh, you know what? We don't. You know, she's a little badass. So, I mean, it's. Um, it's. Um, She's just tough, so she doesn't go down easy. But um, but you know she lost before. So in fact, she was the one that got pinned, I think, by the cat girls once they let her secret out. So she took that one kind of rough. Uh, Sarah, there's always a reader who wants more input on the comic. It's true, you know, um, and. I love to accommodate if it's something that I am already inclined to do, but um, you know, if not, then what can I say? This thing kind of just can't happen. All right. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see, so I got this color here that I can add. This. So, out of curiosity, do you guys have your favorite characters, upstarts or otherwise? Um, or maybe a better way is, who's your favorite upstart and then who is your favorite wrestler? See, Thomas, Excuse me. Sun doesn't get pinned. Switch, switch these two around and Sun would just green mist glue in the face. Ninja. You know, son, you know, that's just, that's just how she goes, you know. Uh, <laughs> uh, ninja, you know, well, need I say more? Ninja. Uh, let's see. I'm going to Turn this off for a minute. There down. I'm going to keep it in the spot of some layer. I'm going to draw this and kind of complete it. Let's see. If she... So now I'm going to make this selection. And now we turn actually that. What I do is a cutout. So she just kind of sticks out there. And now with Ruan, I'll kind of do the opposite. I'll turn this off, this off. I'll knock Sun's layer down. I'll bring 
your hands up. And now I can. Oh, that's right. I can look up. There it is. Actually, I did some of your hands, or did some sun lines on your hands earlier. I should clean this up too. All right, and so in here, I can easily just close that off. Close that off. And just kind of get it in there. I think I'll cover her. Oops. I missed the back of her feet. Boom. Let's see if that works. It does. So I'm using the quick mask there. Gosh, for those that don't know, it shows what the actual selection would be. And I will give her her own layer. And let's see. All right, so sorry. Percent. There we go. All right, what do we got here? Uh, oh, MGC Damsel of Destruction 2. You know, that was so fun the first time around, the move book. Um, the. the this latest time I didn't do it because you know it was a stretch goal for the Kickstarter, and um, the big thing about it is it just takes a lot of time to do, and uh, and even the first time that I did it, um, you know, I built in time to do it, but it was still a lot of work, and I guess I'm I would totally do it again if. Uh, if I can just kind of find the time um, with this being the last uh, season of Rival Angels, I would definitely consider it. There's going to be one more book for sure. Um, there might be, it's definitely just one more book. So, all right. I don't remember. Son. Wait. Here's Son. Upcoming, upcoming page, everyone. Uh, hold up. So, oh, uh, here we go. that didn't work like I wanted it to. Why is this? Oh, uh, I think I need to combine my ink layers. Oh, shoot. I know what I need to do. There we go. And well, it'll work in just a minute, anyways. So, anyhow, damsel destruction, too. Uh, all right, we got a few questions here. Let me get this going on here. Um, Tom's favorite upstart is a tie between Brina and Sun. So, I'm going to cheat and say Ultra Dragon. Perfect answer. Favorite non upstart, Sarah Valentine. She's a popular one. Naughty school girls. You know how it is. Um, and Thomas, when are we going to see more Camille? I'm going to try this uh, this chapter uh, to get her in more. Um, if not this chapter, then for sure the start of the next one, because I do got big plans for her. Uh, Latin. Will Brenda Russell more? Yes. And against who? Uh, well, she's still gunning for Yvonne, and I think, so this, the end of this chapter, got a couple more pages, next chapter is the big pay-per-view, and it'll be, uh, Ultra Dragon against Black and, well, no, <sighs> that's if they win. If Ultra Dragon beats the Towers of Terror, then they'll fight Black and Blue. But, um, the Towers of Terror win, they might get a title shot, it might go to Cat Girls. Yvonne and Brenda will be fighting next chapter, though, for the belt. Um, remember, that was where Brenda kind of took 
Professor Shannon McCourt's title shot. So, um, hey, James Carey, uh, thank you for becoming a patron. You're awesome. Um, this is the first hangout I watched. I wanted to say hello. Kristen's my favorite upstart, but I'm not sure who would be my favorite not upstart. So many good choices. Thanks again for the note on the eight. You are welcome. And thanks again. I'm glad you came. Um, I'll have to show you um, a, a sneak peek of the Valley Doll. Um, where is that? Valley, Valley Doll and Kristen. So here's what I got of that so far uh, Triangle. And as you can see, still working on it. But anywho, um, let's see. More questions. Here we go. Uh, Jim, one more book equals Fawn vs. Rivalry plus three. <laughs> I like the way you're thinking. You know what? But we still got this one to work on too. You know, um, and this will be the week I'll be working on um, the May days. Um, pages and I'll be working on Fawners Rival Angels. I got enough to get going, but um, maybe if you're available tomorrow, you should think about uh, during Raw or something because I will be at least um, I'll have the option of uh, watching it live tomorrow, so that'll work out, I think. Uh, let's see. Engine Sabrina is favorite upstart. Not upstart. Coco was really fun. Yeah, gotta bring her back. For the others, there are fans of Brenda. We can announce she'll be uh, the main event of Fawn vs. Rival Angels two. There you go, Lewis. She's she's gonna get some more love there and soon too. I would because if I'm working on the Kickstarter promoter pages, then. That'll be probably like the next couple weeks of that. So that'll be cool. Uh, MGC, by the way, Alan, any guess who will be in Women's Hall of Fame WWE? Will Nakano, Victoria, Molly? Uh, I think it might be Victoria. And I don't know why I think that. Just, I just do. Um, I think there's been like some good conversations and stuff between them and the WWE. So. I think it's uh, definitely a possibility. Uh. Uh, uh. I don't know if you can see me saving. I'm doing a big save as here. And time to let's make this selection. Wrong layer, wrong layer. Right layer. And now if I grab and get Ruan's hair and her outfit. By the way, if there's any changes to her outfit or anything, feel free to let me know. So this is just me just kind of roughing, roughly putting that in. Let's see, this was gonna be her chin, so the rest of this is her hair. All right. Oh, let's see. Travis, love all the upstarts, but spring is almost always my favorite. Sometimes sun for a while instead. Not upstarts, Coco is the best. You know, if Laura was here, she would be so proud. She's the one I came up with uh, our little Coco Rococo after, uh, after a, a long day of comics and we spent some time at the ice cream parlor and there was a specialty Sunday called the Coco Rococo. She was like, just think of how she would look and boom, sold. Coco. Now the fans can't get enough for her. Latin. My favorite is clearly the real in caps, the real world heavyweight champ, Celtic Warrior, Brenda Raw. But there's others, uh, Sam Wong, Brooke Lennox, Coco Rococo, Loretta Diaz, Mistress Dark, Catherine Smith, Kira Gold, and so many others. I'm glad you like 
so much of the roster. That makes me feel good. I'm glad you liked them. Um, and some of those that you're hoping to see are, um, hopefully you'll get a little bit more time, especially the ones we haven't seen. I'm trying to wrap up a couple of feuds and start some more, so it's always fun. Hey! Sorry, Oscar was being a punk to Emmy. There's some hissing going on inside. Maybe late. Uh, Thomas, the real world heavyweight champion, <laughs> Brenda Rua confirmed for Ric Flair. Hey, I remember that when, what is that, Flair? He left WCW the first time, or NWA, and he brought his belt with him. He was the wor the real world champion. MGC, by the way, since you post, wow, Jungle Glory versus Lana Star for championship. It's kind of a short match. Is it? Uh, I, I know who won. Um, and it's cool, I guess. I mean, all that went down. But, um, yeah, uh, surprised that uh, Jungle Girl did so well. But I'm not terribly surprised just because I mean, she kept in great shape. So good on her. Uh, so I need your hair. Let's see. A big old selection here for her hair. Oops. Need to take some of this out. Here. Actually, I should have her. That's all about it. And put that in. We are. Let's see. Len, uh, who did you see Brandon Wolf fight? Didn't hear it. Uh, sorry. Also, oh, well, she'll be fighting Yvonne. Because uh, remember, she took uh, Professor Shannon McCourt's uh, title shot. So that'll be coming up at the pay-per-view in the next chapter. Uh, let's see. If Brenda were to wrestle a fawn match again, like she did versus Abigail, who would she face? Me, I hope Rua faces Bethany, since they have history, or Sayuki. Jim, did you hear that? There are requests for... Uh, for who Brenda fights. I'm sure you, you already, oh wait, we do have that figured out, don't we? Um, hmm. Oh yeah, I see it. Um, all right, uh, Travis, obviously I'm a big Damage Inc. fan overall. Yvonne is awesome, real champion indeed. <laughs> well, you know, that's how she works it, man. Uh, you know, Yvonne, she's uh, she's got it down. That's what she wants. So, not an accident for her to be as successful as she is. Though she's getting a little tired of all the title shots that she's uh, been doing. She's going to want to break soon, I think. But we'll see how that goes. All right, got it. The sun. Roman. All right, what we got here? Um, say Latin about, wow, does anyone have a video of Terry Gold defending against Lana Star, which Lana wins or has anyone seen the match? It's very hard to find out live. I myself never seen it oh i mean it'd be cool if it happened uh let's see jim negotiations for a future brenda match in fawn could take place <laughs> well i know um tom you know from fawn um he's uh he's angling for sid and brenda to do something but i think they'll be figuring that out but you never know so um Let's see, Latin. Me and Brenda versus Travis and Yvonne in a mixtape match. 
I will take you down. <laughs> LMAO. <laughs> oh, you guys. Uh, let's see. Uh, Thomas, all of WoW's matches are short now. I just like their new format, but it's better than nothing. I'll take what I can get. Also, Kitty needs to turn heel and cost Lana the title and or a rematch. I don't know who won the Lana Jungle Girl match. <laughs> uh, well, they, they've been putting it out there, so it's not really a secret anymore. Um, uh, and win or lose, I won't ruin it for you, but I do believe that uh, Kitty um, does not turn on Lana, but you never can tell. I mean, I, I don't know for sure. It just didn't seem like she did. She's the ultimate hype man. I dig that. She's freaking hilarious. Just, she just owns that role. I can appreciate that. I get down with that. All right. I'm happy to say that I think a lot of your guys is. Uh, Favorites will be showing up soon, if they haven't already been showing up in Rival Angels. Let's see. Uh, I see Travis, to Latin. Okay, punk, I'm a monster truck that walks on command. <laughs> oh, man, this seems like something that would fit in just perfectly on the forums. Just perfect. Let's see. Uh, let's see. I'm thinking that looks pretty good. One more. I'm going to look again at Ruan. I don't really see her eyes or anything, so we're good there. So. Yes, I got a layer that I don't recognize. Hold on. Oh, yeah. That was just my test layer thing. So. Um, oops. No, that's not what I wanted. Can I get rid of that? I can. So now I'm going to duplicate this layer. Now this is my color layer. And I actually have an action to take the canvas here. Do you to do yeah. I have an action that just turns this into kind of like, um, oops, where are my actions down? Actions, action. Oh, there we go. That will, see it kind of fills in for me. That kind of texture. No. All right, here we go. All right, so uh, Latin. So you're almost like Husky Harris, old gimmick. I treat you like old toy truck. <laughs> Husky Harris, you know, he did well for himself considering uh, Bray is now um, looking to at least get a feud going. Uh, let's see. Um, or the new, of the, all the new female federations, which ones are your five favorite uh, federations? Uh, let's see. Ugh. Well, hmm. Shimmer. Shimmer, Shine, um, Eve, um, Eve Pro Wrestling. Oh, let's see what else. Um, I suppose, uh, what is it? No, I was going to say ECWCW, but that's not it. Oh, uh, Ice Ribbon in Japan. And then I'd say, like an honorable mention would be Glow slash Wow. That'd be cool. James Carey, does that make you an Autobot Travis? <laughs> Monster truck. 
Let's uh, see, MGC. It's kind of nice. Someone will continue. Rival Angels. Rival Angels got invaded by Fawn Heel or Bra Heel. You know, I think you're gonna like what's gonna be coming up with that. Um, though, probably not next chapter because that's gonna be the um, Rival Angels pay per view. But um, you know, I've been saying that Coco is coming back this season. So, with only a couple more left, you have to know that she's showing up pretty soon. Well, soon enough, anyways. It becomes clear that best all female federals is WrestleLicious. Dude, they had me rolling with all their little raps and stuff like Glow. Oh my god. That was just hilarious. And WrestleLicious had just so many stars in it, like Amber Gallows and um, Jesse Bell. Um, they had a lot of legit great workers. Um, I remember they had Lacey Von Eric, that, you know, TNA basically bought her contract off for. That alone I thought was going to keep Russellicious um, on TV forever just from that deal. But I guess that wasn't as big a deal as um, originally thought. So that's too bad. Because uh, the problem, too, is it was, at least for me, it was really hard to, to watch um, in that I didn't have the cable channel that was needed. And I don't know that they did anything as far as, like, they might have did YouTube. I'm trying to remember if it was something like that or not. I really don't remember. Now I'm just adding some shadows to the colors here. And more of a Septicon since he is a heel with Damage Inc. Autobots for life. <laughs> Roll out. <laughs> Am I right? Uh, let's see. So, and those that might not know, Sun has Ruan in a matchbook pin, booty up in the air, because that's just how she rolls. I don't like this highlight here, so I'm going to take it. I should have did this before, but hey, better late than never. Am I right? I'm right. That's probably a better way to do this, too, but that'll work. Now, gotta choose a good brush to get in and I do up her lips here, add a little shadow. And a little shine. There we go. Look at that. Oh, let's see. Uh, MGC, have you thought Sabrina wearing wrestling gear like Tracer from Overwatch? You know, um, Overwatch has some really nice art, uh, has some really fun characters. Um, I haven't seen, I haven't done a whole lot, um, you know, putting Sabrina in other stuff. Um, I've had a burst of inspiration to do, you know, these kind of. Um, Pictures, you know, with uh, uh, the char these characters and stuff. So, um, yeah, I've just been kind of doing that. Um, that's not to say I wouldn't like to do Sabrina in that, but um, I guess not right now is all I can say about that. Uh, let's see, a follow-up. Uh, hope to see Mo Chen, Aaron, and Samantha. Also Kim Hart. You know what? Those they're all you know favorites. Um, Sammy will be seen uh, in the Fawn vs. Rival Angels. She's going to help out on commentary. Thanks, Jim. And uh, I don't know about Aaron, but uh, and Mo Chen, uh, I'd like to. Um, you know what? She's always been angling to fight Brooke. 
Um, the problem is, uh, I guess I don't know how that would go. I'd have to see how that would go. I mean, you know, I was saying before how some people don't like to see their wrestlers lose. Um, obviously, Brooke has lost and, you know, does lose, but I don't know if um, if that, I guess it would have to depend where the booking of that would go. Like right now, I can't even think of how that might go. But if, you know, obviously if there was something there, then I would totally do it. But um, if it was just going to make problems, then I wouldn't want to do it. Because that wouldn't be fun. So now I'll just add some shadows. Uh, let's see. Fall behind on the this. All right, Latin, you know, WWE 2K17 has the most playable Divas roster with 19. I didn't know that. Do they have it for PS3? Uh, I say the old WoW LPWA. Yeah, they were a good one. Shimmer, Shine, and Raw, a.k.a. Rival Angels Wrestling Baby, even if it's a comic. Yes, I agree. I want to plus one this. Why can't I plus one this? Oh, I can't plus one it. No, that's all right. Travis, at Latin, have some fun with the Transformers jokes, fella. I'll transform you into chunky salsa on the mat. Great. <laughs> and I'm sorry that I'm reading these dead, man. <laughs> what can I say? All right, Jim, do we want to give the card out for Fawn versus Rival Angels 2? Well, um, hmm. I didn't think about that. Um, hmm. I'm thinking the first page will be Friday. Oh, wait, no, it won't be Friday. Um, I'll be working on the first page this week. You know what? Um, I would say it's up to you. Um, because I don't know if, uh, because if you don't say what it is, then, well, no, you know what? If you think it's okay, then we can put it out there and, um, and if it changes, well, you know what? Card subs change. Boom. So if you like it, I like it. Um, MDC, I guess too much shadow. Just saying. Oh, <laughs> on, uh, on Ruan? Maybe. Or maybe not enough. Ah, just kidding. Mm, I don't like that. That does do her hair. It is coming together. A little bit of shadow in here. All right. Any more questions? I'm Ed Travis. If I'm salsa, I will make sure I burn your eyes for Rua to drive your ass into the mat with the Celtic hammer. Know your world, your brony. <laughs> you guys. Hilarious. Uh, let's see, Jim. I'll leave it up to those here if they are interested. Uh, all right, guys, so what do you think? Um, last Kickstarter, I had the promoter um, tier where you could be, um, you could get your own match. And I know Mayday did, and we'll be seeing that soon where it's uh, going to be his character, Kim Hart, and that. Um, but Jim, he's got several pages for Fawn vs. Rival Angels, and he wants to know if you guys would like an early sneak peek into what the card is going to be, that is, who's going to be fighting him. Because remember, this is Rival Angels vs. Fawn. So if you want to know the card ahead of time, let me know. Put it in the questions. And if you want, put in 
who you think would be some good matches. And if you don't know the, the Fawn roster all that well, that's okay. Just let me let us know if you want to know the card as it stands right now. But, I mean, uh, and that uh, those matches we'll see between uh, chapter three and chapter four. So kind of coming up uh, sometime in September, I think is going to be it. Well, I'm just wondering who is that girl? Son is pinning. That is Ruan. Um, oh shoot. Uh, McKenna, yeah. Here she is here, um, being balls plexed by uh, Wendy Smith. Wendy Smith is in the top three. Actually, she might be number two by Adore in uh, in Fawn, just because she's a little badass and she suplexes everybody and everything. And I like Ruan. And two, but for entirely different reasons. Yeah, that's uh, who Sun is pinning. And it was just a real random thing. Um, I asked the person who runs Ruan if it would be okay. He's going to go for it. So I did. Went with it with relish, with a plum. All right, let's pretty good. Oh my goodness, we got some questions here. Latin, Brenda Versailles is one of the cards. Uh, James Carey, I'd be interested. Fawn's got some fun characters, and I'd be curious to see which ones may feature. Um, MGC, Chloe DeSaud versus Wendy Smith. Oh my goodness, what a crazy match it would be. Uh, MGC, Alan, what do you think a hip thrust to cat girls moves since cats really want to show their rear? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> well, it's hard to argue with that much. Um, and I'm sure we'll see them sooner than later. So, um, Definitely something to keep a uh, up for, I think. That would, uh, you get no, I'm laughing, but you get no argument from me on that. So, have to see, just have to see. All right, so now I'm getting a little crazy here. Let's fix this up. Yeah. There we go. Let's see a little special effects here. And boobs. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to apply a blur filter just to knock some of that down. And then I'm going to just start that in half there. There we go. Well, yeah, a little more. I don't want it to be overpowering, you know. Oh, that I see the redhead cat doing the butt thrust if I had to pick, but I see the move used by a big butt woman like the forums Kayla or Cat Smith, which she did to Serena Arnie. Yes, yeah, she did. Good memory. That was first season television title match, I believe. Excellent. Excellent memory. All right. So I'm going to put what I like to call the crowd dots in here. Let's take a couple of 
layer is. brush that I made just for the crowd scenes. Oops, there we go. Let's put that in. And then really just to finish it off, I'll add some shadow or some gradients. Let's see if this works. I got one or two creating tool. Uh, I want it to be a little darker. Uh, let's see from the bottom maybe. Well, I think it should still be darker. So I'm going to just go with that. And I'm going to put in just a couple shine like that, I think. The contrast. Travis Allen, don't need to see you squash you, buddy. Step into the ring with me if you like, but you're leaving in a bucket. <laughs> Rough. Uh, let's see, Latin, just wondering, when will you do a Brenda Rua fight picture, since I think her versus Kayla was the last one you did? Well, um, that was a commission by the person who handles Kayla. And he really wanted to see her against Brenda. Um, and the guys in Fawn, they intend to commission me too. So I guess to answer your question is the next time someone commissions me. Um, the other thing would be if the mood, um, you know, if I was just in the mood to do it, that would be another reason to, uh, to do it. But um, otherwise, um, yeah, commissions or if I was in the mood about it. So, um, I would say I love Brenda the pieces, but um, yeah, I mean, if I ain't feeling it, I just ain't feeling it. So, that's how it goes. I'm trying something a little different here. I'm adding a gradient to the turnbuckles. Yeah, I think I kind of like it. I always love making more work for me. Personal goal. Right, so what do you think, Jim? Should should I give the uh, the uh, lineup for Flanders Rival Angels two? Let's see, MGC, you still take commission art, do I? Yes, sir. Um, that's where you see most of those Sabrina getting pinned images are uh, commissions. Let's see. Uh, let me think. I think Sunridge Romana is looking pretty good. Um, Hmm. Mm -hmm. But even if I think this is done, what I'll probably do is sit on it for a good um, 12 hours or so, and then come back and then be like, oh, it's different. Um, see, Thomas, Fongress RA2 Electric Book Glue. You know it. Um, I'll get to this here. Jim, sure. It seems like there are those interested. Here you go. Uh, all right. So, Flanders Rival Angels, subject to change, is uh, Trixie versus Monica, Sarah Valentine versus Bunny Cooper, Ivy versus Snow. No. Oh, shit. You, you already did it for us, Jim. You're the man. Travis, yeah, we want the card. All right. Uh, well, here, I'm going to, I don't know, can you guys, 
Do you guys ever get to see the answers? I don't think you do. But uh, it's in the questions now. It's, uh, but Jim's already got Monica versus Trixie, Sarah Valentine versus Bunny Cooper, Snow Kitten versus Ivy Armstrong, Danielle Perfection versus Shay London, Brooke versus Sayuki. Ah, oh, come on, you guys gotta love that one. Shannon McCord versus Lenore, Lamarchand, Lamarck, ah, Lamarckend, Nevea versus Kylie Sanders, Ultra Dragon versus Scandalous, and Brenda Rua versus Abigail Williams. Booyah! What do you guys think of that? Good stuff. You know it's good stuff. Um, hold on, there's something I want to look at. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Awesome stuff. Latin Fawn versus Raw 2, I like to see, but make sure Brenda has a match this time. Raw versus Bethany or Sayuki. She's on the card, man. She's fighting Abigail. There you go. Booyah. Good stuff. Um, yeah. And uh, we're already working on it, so. Oh, it'll be good. It'll be so much Ugh, fun. Oh, yeah. Sunshine. I think um, I'm looking at it. I want to add a little bit of gradient to her hair. And make it a little darker. What do you guys think of that lineup? Awesome, am I right? So, um, Thinking it's going to be at least um, well, at least four pages, but maybe even more. You never can tell. Travis, this will be crazy fun. Hell yeah! Uh, MGC, why call scandalous Brenda Rose? No, um, it's Ultra Dragon versus Scandalous. Scandalous is the tag team that they'll be fighting. Um, Shoot, I've drawn them before. It was, um, uh, they were fighting the Canes, and let me think. Oh, shoot, I'm trying to think. One was a vampire girl, and anyways, scandalous. They're going to be fighting Ultra Dragon. <laughs> Good stuff. Uh, Latin, James, go with Brenda versus Bethany or Sayuki. Brooke can go after Wendy Smith. <laughs> Oh, you. Brook for Sioki is going to be pretty decent. Let me just tell you right there. So, And I don't know that Bethany is really um, looking to get in the ring anytime soon. At least, I don't think so. But it'll be good. Abigail versus Brenda. Good stuff. Very good stuff. Um, holy crap, it's already 12.30. Look at that. Time flies when you're having fun. Um, well, uh, I'm pretty happy right now with this image of Sunverse uh, Ruan. Um, let me think. I'll definitely be posting it on Patreon for you guys to check out. And here's the thing. Uh, for anyone who's not on Patreon, you don't need a uh, you need an account to like uh, follow and um, comment and stuff, but you don't have to pay money if you don't want to. So, uh, and I do a lot of this kind of stuff on Patreon. So, if you guys want to make, um, if you guys want to follow me there, you certainly can. Um, and of course, uh, there are certain tiers of support that, that you can get, like um, a week early of Rival Angels. Um, you can get put into the drawing, which I'll be doing in a little bit, um, to see who gets a free commission. Um, let's see what else. Uh, but anyways, and you can look at so many else's, so many other people's um, art, too, if you make an account on Patreon. And same thing, you can uh, support them you, um, monetarily or not. You can follow them, and a lot of people do a lot of fun stuff. So I definitely encourage it. Uh, let's see, Jim. I'll keep the match for Brenda versus Vaughn for <laughs> Rival Angels 3. Oh, uh, yeah. Thomas, you're the man. That's right. I'm also on Line Web Tune. Um, 
If you guys aren't on it, it's a, oh, let me think. It's a Korean web website for web comics. And you can find a lot of stuff. There's a really cool MMA comic called Girls of the Wild, but they talk about it like it's this big, like fighting MMA comic and they haven't fought in like months. But the art is really pretty and um, it's still a pretty decent story. So, but yeah, check it out if you can. Um, one quick second here. I'm just going to get the drawing ready for the free um, commission. And that's for uh, anyone and, uh, who does the $10 Patreon support. All right. So what do we got? Three. All right. Um, I have the dice. This is how I. This is how I pick who's going to win. Oh, James Carey, I forgot to say earlier, thanks for the sneak peek at Kristen vs. Valley, and great choice of hold. Though Valley has to be getting a bit tired of being in triangles or scissors given her recent experiences with Lucy. I know! But you know what? Um, Valley Dell's a very good sport about that. Um, she's, it's, uh, she's, she's one of those that just spell her name right, and, uh, and she's happy. So, um, yeah, you know what? In fact, on I am gonna, this is Sun versus Ruan. Um, just a sneak peek here is what I'll be working on too. There's also another sneak peek I got, but you guys have to wait for that one. But, um, so, uh, all right, I'm gonna roll the dice to see who wins the raffle. Here we go. I don't know if you can hear that, but here we go. Jim, you win it again, buddy. If you want, you can uh, apply that to uh, your ever-growing list for the Fawn vs. Rival Angels, or you can choose an image. Let me know. Let me know after the uh, after the hangout. So uh, that would be cool. So uh, MDC, hope next Rival Angels will be this kind of time next month. Uh, I think so. I mean, if you guys, uh, you know, if there's a good time for you guys, then... Um, it's a good time for me. Um, let me look at the calendar. You know what? It'll be it'll be before the twenty fifth. The twenty fifth, I'll be doing tabletop role playing, Dungeons and Dragons. So it won't be the twenty fifth. It'll be before that. Thomas, your perspective work is ridiculously amazing. Thank you very much. Um, so my work at um, reference is always good too. Um, whenever you can and if you can't find something exact you can usually find something similar like um, oh, what do you call those those exports export games you know a lot of times there'll be stuff in there and with MMA becoming so more popular it's uh, it's it's easier at least to find stuff like that so uh, Jim, Farmer's Rival Angels 2 is up to six pages. So, yeah, I'll be applying this one to it all. Very good. This is excellent news. And, you know, something I was going to bring up, too, is that it can even be longer than six pages because we're kind of doing it by the image. So maybe you want a splash page or something. So just saying. Um, but we'll talk more about that. Um, whether... Um, email or messaging or, or whatever um if uh if you have time after this maybe that'd be cool but anyhow um thank you everybody for coming out and um you know a lot of great questions a lot of good back and forth i really love it thanks uh, for all your guys support and rival angels and i look forward to doing this again next month uh if you think of something for me to draw ahead of time Feel free. Um, these are just things that I just come up with like during the week. I'm like, hey, this is what we're going to do. So um, thanks again for a lot of fun, everybody. And I'll see you guys next time. See you later.